Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2019. This is the stand of Mercedes and uh, as every year Mercedes has um, it picks a few uh, companies which have done uh, conversions using its models as a base or usually it's the Sprinter as a base and here we can see uh, Westphalia Westphalia sorry uh, on a Sprinter and what we're going to have a look at now is how we can get so much more space in a van under six meters by using a few extras. Well the first extra you can see is the tent in the roof and the second extra is at the back, it's the slide out and that is the really clever thing over there. So what we'll do now is you can get Sprinter Camper Life and whilst I'm here I'll get the price which is 106,624 or 80,000 as the base. Right. That was some character. I hope that was amusing for you. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, Slide up there, tent in the roof up there. So, right, don't stand on the table. Well, presumably, the table can't carry your weight when you try to pull yourself up there. You can see, however, there is a place for a ladder, so the, the table will get stowed away and you'll put the ladder when you want to get up there. There's plenty of space out here thanks the the sprinter not having this bulwark which we often get up up here. Big storage there. And there and here. But okay, but the, the question is, of course, is how much extra space does it give? Well, what we've got, the problem with the sprint is, of course, the, uh, the width. It's only, depending on the height, but roughly the way it is now, it's 165 centimeters in width. So that's, unless you're under that height, that probably isn't enough to sleep in a width-wise direction. However, having said that, this at the back, that will come backwards and forwards and it gives you all of this extra space. So when you're driving you've got a vehicle under six meters in length and when you're sleeping you get the slide out out and you get all of this extra space and I think that looks pretty good to be honest. I think that's very nice. What do you do if it doesn't work? There's a manual override. You have to uh, uh, release a pin or something. And uh, it depends who made the, the slide out. I mean, Lipid Components, they explained it to me how it works. Another company is called Horex. They're actually manufacturing them. And I shall be uh, doing a, um, be taking one out of a van with a slide out from Horex, which has been made uh, in the Netherlands. For a van that's only 199 centimeters wide, this is a pretty big bathroom. I want to stand in it so you can see how much space there is. Space for towels.
as a friend of mine told me there was a lady went into the van, their van they had on their display and she broke the door because she did not realise how to open it. It wasn't one of these, it was a camper van door, a typical camper van door. Okay, so we've got this fridge that opens two ways. Uh, there you are. I thought this honey mat had a um, exclusivity on it, but it would seem not. I suppose that's handy. Okay, this is tip relatively standard to burners. Same will be on this side as well. Sink. I was trying to say same, I don't mean it's the same as the in other vans and nice big drawer however having said that sides plenty of space there for uh, storage of food Wasn't enough room for me. I banged myself on the uh, on the table. Now I like to have a big table in the van as much as possible. That to me is a major feature. Oh, I'm talking of which, there's another major feature which lots of people ask me about. Now I said, well, you can't have it because it very rarely exists. But look at this. This reclines so back, backwards, or forwards. Thing is, you know, you've only got six meters to play with, or less than six meters in the entire van. And that's why vans can't offer this reclining feature as a rule.